Alright guys, welcome back. We are playing Leighton vs. Right. Trying to figure out this puzzle here. It seems pretty easy so far. There's enough space over here to make that log go down. Well, that was just one log. Okay. So that's a little bit different. I'm trying to make a path that's leading to this bridge over here. Oh, there we go. But how do we cross there? What? Oh wait, I need to do something with this one, I think. I'll knock that one down. And knock the rest of these up. Let's try that. Does that work? Hey, there we go. I've already seen the That one answer. wasn't too bad. You should expect no less from a gentleman. You just gotta make sure it stays in a straight line, you're good. Alright, we made it safely across. We're going to head to, I think, the Great Witch's house. Yes, now I can give my mistress today's report. Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay you. There's no trouble. A broken bridge would be inconvenient to everyone after all. By the way, what kind of task did the Great Witch give you two? I'm itching to know. Huh? What's our task? Um, let's see. Oh, that's it. We're puzzle solvers. Yep, that's right. Puzzle solvers. Uh, of course. That makes sense. Well, you both performed your task magnificently. Please excuse me, I must report to the mistress. Now I can go back to truly enjoying my task. Farewell. Whoa, he's really booking it. Maybe we did something really good, huh, Professor? That we did, Miss Faye. Now let us press on with our task. Alright, let's go. Let's go to her mansion. Face to face. <coughs> oh, mistress, mistress. Has something happened to the Grey Witch? I went up to her room, but there was no answer. Oh, mistress, most venerable great witch. Maybe she's just not in the mood to talk. Everyone has their days. No, never. She would never do that. The mistress always answers us. Wow, I've got to say I'm surprised. It sounds like she's really faithful to you guys. Um, maybe she just stepped out? If she stepped out, we would know. Oh, what could have happened to you, mistress? That reminds me. She mentioned there was a visitor waiting for her, or words to that effect. Then that visitor must still be waiting around for her, right? No, no, they are both inside the room. I've got it! The supposed visitor is really some shady ex and I looking for revenge. Miss Faye, please refrain from putting any terrible scenarios into his head. Regardless, we must continue inside. It seems something rather serious is afoot. Alright, Shades Workshop. Let's find our... Horsies! I got plenty of food. That's good. Um... Oh. There is something right there. I thought there would be something. Oh! I thought I saw some sparkle. Did I not? No, I guess not. There we go. Okay. Let's go. Shades Workshop. Mistress, mistress. Please answer something, anything. If something were to happen to you, I... Ah. Whoa, everyone's really freaking out. Hey, maybe I should pretend to be Bazella. I can be all like, silence, minions! Indeed, I wonder what could happen here. Maybe she turned her visitor into a gold statue. Hopefully this one doesn't lose an arm. Alright. So let's get her... There we go. Alright, so we don't have a new location, so let's just start talking to these guys. My task is quite an important one. That's a ridiculously huge pot. I wonder what they're cooking in there. You, stop. Do not interfere with my task. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, I won't. There appears to be two pots, each with a different substance being cooked. Whoa, check that out, Professor. The color change. How'd they do that? Well, I agree the change in color is rather peculiar. I am more interested in its smell. 
I have a strange feeling I've smelled this very same odor somewhere before. Yeah, now that you mention it, it does seem kind of familiar, doesn't it? Red flower mix in stir, red flower mix in stir. Red flower, what? I'm out. No more stirring, no more mixing. Oh, there's no red flowers in that basket over there. Red flowers, yes, they're restock. Back to mixing, back to stirring. This flower blooms just off the shore of the lake, does it not? It would seem your task is to mix these red flowers into the pot, is it right? Red flower mix in stir, red flower mix in stir. Boy, you're seriously concentrating so hard that you can't even afford to have a conversation. Wonderful weather today, wouldn't you say? Red flower mix in stir. Oh my god. Have the social butterfly, Miss Faye. Oh yeah. Makes equal measures of blue and red. Ah, oh, I can't do it. Hmm, the Shade's task is proving to be quite challenging for her. Isn't her task to mix the red and blue liquid together? Yes, they must be combined in equal measures, but no matter how many times I try, I cannot get it. Please, can you help me? Huh, you want us to help? I must admit, I am quite fascinated by the mixing process at work here. Very well, let's give her a helping hand. Oh, another puzzle. Awesome. Mysterious mixture. Fill the eight liter container with the shade's top secret green glowing potion. It takes equal measures of blue and red together to make the secret potion. Any other ratio will create an explosive black potion. Touch container fill it, you forgot to overfill it. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, I see. So we have to just pick between them. Are we sort of just balancing this out? I just moved five of this to this over here. So that means I can do this to there. Okay, so now that one is full, I believe. Okay, so it has to be eight, five, five, three. Um, so we'll add a little bit more. Oh wait, shoot. That's too much. There we go. Okay, we got more in there. Um, give it to one of these. Shoot. Try the other one. Nope, oh, that's not gonna work. So what the hell am I supposed to do? Um. Allow me to show Did I just do it? Oh my gosh, okay, I was just tapping randomly. You should expect no less from Gentlemen. So that's another one you can just tap and you can in, until you beat it. So that's pretty cool. All right, we just made potions. <laughs> um, what's up here? Okay, there we go. You did it. You actually did it. I knew you could do it, Professor. Our shade friend here looks pretty pleased. This liquid it has a most mysterious glow. I wonder what type of dye they used. And yet this scent—it sm smells oddly familiar. Perhaps I smelled it when arriving in this town. Hmm, no, I believe I smelled this scent before that, even. Mistress! Wah! What the? What's wrong? There's quite a bit of commotion coming from the entrance to that room. I believe something may have happened. Quickly, Miss Faye. Right! What are we supposed to do? I don't know. Um... We've done everything else in here. What about these guys in the middle? Um, excuse me. Ah! Ah! What gives? Could you please not scare me like that? Our apologies. There seems to be a great many of you gathered here. Has something happened inside? Something did happen. Oh, I can't even think about it. It's just so horrible. So what is this horrible thing that happened? The mistress, the great witch, she's... she's gone. What? Gone? Uh-oh. Of course she is. Let's go into her room. Oh, mistress, I knew something was destined to happen. I felt a premonition most disturbing. Oh my gosh. This place is filled with blood. How did this happen? I saw no one enter this room. The entrance to the room was sealed shut. Where could she have gone? Holy crap. 
Something serious did go down. What the heck happened? Um. Oh, there we go. See what's up. That's. Oh, no kidding, Professor! It would seem the Shades made quite the mess searching for the Great Witch. Let us inquire with everyone in the room to get a better understanding of the situation at hand. Right, how about we start with that Shade over there? A good suggestion, Miss Fay. Um, excuse me, do you think we can ask you a couple of questions? Sure, what is it? It's not like I'm busy or anything. Could you perhaps describe to us what you saw when you entered the room? Yes, we all heard it sounded like a fight happening on the other side of the door. No matter how many times we called out to the mistress, there was no reply. We thought something might have happened to the mistress, so we forced the door open. But when we got inside, she was nowhere to be found. You say she was nowhere to be found? And was the door closed the whole time? Yes, but it was most certainly closed. But somehow the mistress managed to disappear. So let me get this straight. She disappeared from a sealed room, and then the room was found in a big mess. Professor, you know what this means? This means magic must be behind it. This is quite the peculiar situation. The Great Witch mentioned having to meet with a visitor. Do you happen to know if this person was in this room? A visitor? I faintly remember a visitor. I do remember hearing another voice. To be honest, I didn't actually see them. And there are no other exits present in this room, is that correct? Correct, this main door is the only one. Okay, so the Great Witch and her visitor both disappeared from the room. And even with all these shades around, no one saw a single person enter or leave the room. Or perhaps Miss Fay. This visitor simply managed to stay incognito during the ensuing com commotion. That is one possibility. Well, what do you mean, Professor? No one had seen the visitor prior to the incident, so even if that person was seen in this room, clearly no one would have realized it was them. But wouldn't an outsider stick out like a sore thumb here? All of the shades are dressed the same. Indeed, any outsider would certainly stand out. I imagine the shades would be quick to apprehend them. However, what if this person were to di disguise themselves as a shade? Oh, oh, you could be right. Maybe they disguised themselves as a shade right before the others came into the room. Precisely. The rather disheveled appearance of this room would, would immediately draw one's attention, thus providing the perfect distraction for the culprit to hide. Okay, okay, so where is this visitor now? No one has left this room since we entered. Therefore, he or she must still be in this very room. All right, then, let's hurry up and catch him. In order to do that, we must question everyone currently present in the room and gather some information. Um, what do you mean? My apologies for troubling you once again. Could you please gather together everyone who entered the room? Yes, right away. Oh, another puzzle. So are we like interrogating people now, I guess? Who done it? <laughs> Five shades entered the room. It is unknown who entered first. Touch the letters A through E on the touch screen to see each of the shades' comments. Listen carefully and work out the order that they all entered the room. The first shade that entered the room is the culprit. Okay. Let's start interrogating them. One of the small ones came third. My robes were stained with this red liquid as I was carrying out my given task. It is unrelated I was last to arrive. There was already someone in front of me when I arrived, a little one trailed behind me. He who stood ahead of me did not responsible or sorry, resemble wow, where did I get that from? Resemble me in size nor stature. Um those white robes were stained with colored liquid were somewhere in front and behind me. And the small ones came third. Um, oh, this is weird. Oh, we're supposed to move people around. I see. So let's make the biggest the beginning. Stature. A little one trailed behind me. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Small ones came third. 
he who stood ahead of me did not resemble me in size nor stature. Okay, so that's right there. All right, I'll be right back. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.